God gave me a gift, because that's how God is, apparently, um, and I got cancer. And when cancer came, after years of suffering depression, and I had prayed over and over again for mental wellness, please let my mind be well. I'm so tired of this. And I was seeing patients, and you all, I'm going to tell you, nobody knew. <laughs> I, I have a great mask, you know. Nobody knew except my husband how much I was suffering. I mean, I had to make a living. I have children I have to feed, these two neurotic dogs, some in-laws situation, you know. I raise great people and lousy dogs. I don't know what that is. God bless you, dog people. I'm like, who are you? What language are you speaking? Like, I have all this love. Crazy dog, neurotic. So in that, and in my own healing, when cancer came, I said, oh, my God. I forgot to ask for everything. I limited myself. I only asked for mental wellness. I didn't ask for physical wellness. I just neglected that part of myself because I had suffered for so long in my own body. And so I thought, okay, the lesson here is I have to be more specific. There's many lessons that came with cancer. That was one of them. Any cancer survivors in the room? God bless you. Yeah, I clap for them, please. That shit sucks. God bless you. I got real spiritual with cancer. <laughs> You're running out of time. You know, death is no longer something that's evading and is a far distant cry from where I'm at. It's right here, right now. Talk about being in the present moment. I sat in that room and I looked at that doctor and I was bewildered. I'm vegan. I work out every day, I take supplements, I've always taken care of myself, and cancer came anyway. So go drink soda, go smoke, eat some McDonald's, go for it. I wasted a lot of time eating healthy. <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> Anyways, my cancer was hormonal, so it was a whole different animal. But still, go have some soda, go have fun, you know, I don't care. It's like. I'm going to go when I'm going to go. That's the reality of having death come visit you. I'm going to go when I'm going to go. I am absolutely powerless over my life. That is the truth of every addict and alcoholic. Get that in your bones. Get there with them. You are absolutely powerless over this disease. You will always be. Is recovery possible for you? 100%. Because you deserve it. Because it's yours. Because you're entitled to it. 